Welcome to Paper Crafting with Rebecca. Well, it's April, so the focus for this channel for the month of April is alcohol inks and playing with them and experimenting with them and having fun with them. Maybe give you some inspiration for some new ideas if you already own alcohol inks. So today's project isn't really a paper craft. However, I have this jar that I wanted to play with that I keep a lot of my paper crafting tools in this jar. And I decided I wanted to make it pretty for my craft studio. So what I'm going to do is an alcohol ink project that is not um, on paper, but it is to make something in my paper. Now this is, this is a jar that I think it had jelly in it or, uh, I don't remember what it had in it, but it was a food jar. But I liked it because of the, I just, it's a bright size for my, my craft table. Anyway, um, I've scrubbed it really well, although there's still, you can still see some glue marks from the label. And I scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed, could not get those off. So I'm not sure how this will work on this particular jar because of those glue marks. But I thought it would be fun to go ahead and play and see what we can do. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is put on some gloves because I do not want to get alcohol ink on my hands and stain them today. And then I'm going to take my jar and I'm going to wipe it all over really well with the alcohol and just get it all cleaned off. So I'm doing that first. Woo! Drop the glass jar on my glass mat. That sounded scary, didn't it? So anyway, you just want to make sure your jar or your vase or your whatever you're going to, uh, your glass. Now, for my purposes, since I'm not going to be washing this and putting it in the dishwasher or anything, I will probably not need to seal it. If you're going to do something that's going to be washed frequently, you would want to get a sealer. You know, something like maybe a vase that you put live flowers in that had water. Now, generally after this is good and dry, the alcohol won't come off in just water because it's alcohol. Um, but anyway, I'm going to set that aside so that can be drying. And then I'm just going to take my alcohol inks. And this is just a piece of, you know, plastic wrap that I have laying here on my glass mat. And I'm just going to put a couple of drops around. on here and I'm going that color is called wild plum I'm going to use some uh, stream okay and I'm going to use some of this spectrum noir one Just kind of sprinkle this around in here. And this is just a fun, oops, fun way to decorate glass. Of course, I could be doing this on paper too, but okay. So I've got that all on there. Um, I pulled out my 91% alcohol and a dropper if I'd wanted to thin those colors down, but I don't, I think on this one, I think it's looking fine. And then I'm just going to sit that in the middle and I'm going to bring this all up around it. And just kind of squish that up there like that. Unwrap it. And there I have my glass. I think the pink kind of went away. Doesn't it look like the pink went away? 
Okay, and then I just have a piece of, um, now I could lay paper on this if I'd been prepared, but I'm not going to today. Um, but I have a piece of parchment paper, which is a piece of old plastic packaging over it. And I'm just gonna sit this here upside down like that and let it dry. Um, if you see that it's running, like particularly on one side, because I talked for too long and held it there because I was talking to the camera, <laughs> um, you can take and tilt it just a little bit to get that alcohol to run around the rim, going the other way too. That way I'll get it all the way around my whole rim. There we go. Okay, now I'm just gonna sit that there and let that dry. And then I will come back after this is dry. Now it will dry fairly quick because it's alcohol ink. And so, you know, that won't be a problem as far as drying, but I would let it dry overnight before actually using it. And so, let me take that all off. Okay, so we're just gonna let this dry and then I will show you what it looks like once it's all done. Okay, so that one was so fun. Let's do another one. Just, just maybe some different colors and see how that turns out. Okay, so I got my saran wrap. Let's play with some other colors. Let's make this one mostly stream and maybe butterscotch and oh i can't help it i gotta throw in some wild plum on that one too okay so once again we need gloves we need a clean jar or vase or whatever it is that you want to make you want to wipe around outside with alcohol so to make sure there's no oils on it or anything this jar actually it's a, it was a food jar that I had emptied out too I think this one was for sure jelly but it's it doesn't have the label marks on it okay so let's just play Let's do this again this jar is not going to be used for food or anything like that so I'm not gonna worry too much about um, having to seal the finished product okay so I'll put that on there and I'm just gonna pull up trying to make some channels with my you know crinkly with my cellophane or my, what do you call this, saran right now, uh, whatever, whatever that's called. I'm trying to crinkle that up a little bit. Pushing some of the extra out and around. And this one, So I'm just, that one kind of is interesting because it didn't come all the way to the top as much, but that actually is kind of pretty like that. Okay, set that to the side to dry. And we'll come back and look at those when they're all done. I'm trying real hard not to get alcohol everywhere, alcohol ink everywhere. All right, I will come back when all this is all dry and we will take a look and see how they turned out. If you do get alcohol ink on your glass mat, a couple little drips or drops, just grab a, that alcohol pad and that you cleaned your jar off with and clean that off. All right, be back in a moment. Okay, looking back at this one, I'm not really 
tickled with how this head looks right here. This side's pretty, but this side's eh. So let's see what happens. I've not done this before. I've got powder all over my hands for my gloves. Let's see what happens. If we can just do some dripping technique with it. So I'll put this back over here. I'm gonna take some of the, eh, let's take some of the yellow first. And I'm just going to, I'm not done this, so you get to do this with me. See how this oh, turns out. Just kind of run it, some drops around. I wanna kind of evenly place these so it has kind of a pattern to it. Ooh, that's kind of neat. Strip some of this color in between. On there, on there, on there, on there, on there, and one there. Oh, that's kind of cool, giving it a stripe effect. All right. Gotta do it one more time. Let's see, let's add this color to the purple. Looks like the purple's the biggest ones. On there. On there. What's so fun about alcohol inks is you just get to play with them and see what they do. Wow, that gave that a completely different look, didn't it? Ha! Huh. I don't have another glove handy, so I'm gonna just use a piece of saran wrap here to protect my fingers. Pick this up so you can see it. Look at that. Didn't that turn out cool? Okay, when it dries, I'll show it to you better. Okay, just gonna let that dry. I don't think there's anything coming through there. All right, we'll look at these when they're all dry. Okay, they've dried for just a little bit. Alcohol ink dries really fast, so I'm still gonna let them sit for, I would say, overnight before I get real rough with them. But let's look at this first one and I'll put a piece of white paper here. It's probably hard to see. Let me bring up some more light in so you can see. This one, you can see where the label marks are, but that's okay. Kind of give you an idea though. It just looks like blue glass. Isn't it pretty? Like that. But that's all I need for putting in the things I keep on my desk. Yvette the card girl made this. Isn't this pretty? It's a little gift for me. And she was so sweet to do that. Okay, so I'll take a picture of that so that you can see it better. I'm not sure it's gonna show up on this camera real well. But there's that jar. And here's how this one turned out. Can you see that one? That one's has kind of a neat design. It's hard to, so hard to see in this light, I think. But alcohol inks on glass, really pretty, fun way to keep your supplies in your craft room. All right, so this just starts alcohol inks for the month. Next Friday, I will get on something more um, paper crafting. Um, and we're going to play with some ac um, acetate and alcohol inks. We're going to play with card making, with some scrapbooking. But this is just kind of jumping us in to playing with some alcohol inks on just goodies that you might want to have in your craft room. So, happy paper crafting!